Morning. Morning. Halfway there. Are we over halfway? Oh, we're only 40 miles, so if we did that, it's half an hour, not even 20 minutes. We're by the castle. High tide, isn't it? Definitely high tide, yeah. Oh, there's waves. It's the top of the point then. Uh, All the way. Yeah, so we have to swim across there. So he said to stop swim from there, otherwise we're gonna yeah. get sucked out to sea. And then I was supposed to walk on the beach. He okay. said go on the path just by the hut. Okay, yeah. And then walk. Getting soaked before even changed. Is that big, big this looks like a bit of a shower, eh? Forget. Down this bit. Oh. Should we have to 
Next little bump through here. Catching up to Rich a little bit here. holding the GoPro. This is my first time falling with this GoPro. Just getting used to holding it. Hurting my arms holding it. That's rich. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to be honest. I was hoping Rich would keep going so I could follow his line. But the bumps feel so strong. Rich has got a long paddle back in now. Oh, you got a bit of company. From the top of the point. Yeah, just from the top of the point now. Oh, I'll get that up there. something, yeah. Here, let's get down this lump here. Shouldn't have chased that one. I got a little bit carried away and chased that bump, I shouldn't have chased it. That almost, that almost cost me chasing that bump. But we're on again now. It was over in a few minutes, but because it's so much fun. So looking at the distance I've gone, that's been quite a long run. I don't know whether to take the GoPro for another another uh, run or not because it kind of was aching my arm. So I'm just thinking about that. Might ditch it in the car, but maybe I'll do one more with the GoPro and then just have a bit of fun. Morning, how you doing? Pretty good. No way. Come from that furthest point in the distance. I thought I'd come from this point here. And now I've realised 
we took off on that furthest point in the distance. It's starting to dawn on me how long the walk back is. I don't I got out at the end of the, like, past the end of the beach up. Yeah, and there was a nasty short up. Yeah, there or thereabouts. I'm so glad you got to see what I was going to say. It's like, um, I can see a really good cross in front of me. Yeah, and you, and I thought, I'm, I'm going to get to that. Go yeah. over that. And then it, it just sort of steepened up and I was going up there. I was like, I saw you, like, stamping to try yeah. and recover it. Yeah, I should have And then just, you just went slap. I should have just... No, 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 no. I just, I almost did it. Then through that. Yeah, it's, it's I just very good. The kids there. Oh, wait, did you take the car to that? I need to get into the car to that. I went to chase the bus. And I realised, no, that's the last time to do that. Because what you've got here is you've got the wall coming off that wall. Yeah. And, the, and you've got the tide just getting bit disorganised. Are you going all right? I'm not. Yeah, you're here. Oh, that's epic. Look at this. Oh, that's epic. Yeah, I've got yeah, it's to the other side of the hut, like right down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not too bad, yeah, it's alright. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's super fun. Gravel.
down here. See the size of this lump down here? Holy smoke! This one's just right connected to this.
down a full set. Now I kept on falling there and I just didn't get past it. And I, was, I couldn't see my foot. I couldn't get it. Like that, I just hit that section there and I was like, oh no, what's happened? And can you say you've just got a trust that it's going to come back again? Yeah. Because then as soon as you're under here, it's just kind of Yeah. This is the end. Oh, right. Yeah. Good. Alright, real good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, it's superb. It's crazy. Right yeah, right, yeah. Top. Oh, yeah. Right. We're, on, we're on number three now, okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm on about run number five. Oh, so tight for those runs. That was like agony walking back. Tell me what happened. Tell me about it. Well, it was pretty sweet. But yeah, I did. The try and error of obviously something felt really good and then I thought it was a little bit draggy so then I came back switched airs with the zero shim and that just didn't give me enough lift so I kept on pumping 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 but never get the mass high enough uh, and yeah I think condition slightly changed it got tougher towards the end didn't it yeah seems like that the size a little bit dropped as the tide was dropping and it was turning into more like wind swell uh, and it was just really hard to read so you I, I couldn't even kick off and you know looking yeah. for the bomb behind I just had to pump downwind and downwind and uh, I th yeah I think you got caught in that bit in here did you get did you come off around this kind of zone like where yeah because yeah, this is what Rick warned me about where the um where the Avon rivers coming although out. I was further out so I made sure that once we get to that port I was like far out because I knew that if I get here I just you know yeah. there is nothing nothing to ride here because this is turbid this is the part I found the trickiest because it was like the water comes out you came across here yeah well just outside of here just outside. because where the water's coming out it's feels like it's made it a little bit deeper and then there was the current cutting out through the wave as well so it suddenly went very confused and kind of wobbly yeah so that that was the part where thankfully i didn't get caught out there but i felt like i almost did because it suddenly went confused but then as soon as you got through this bit it picks up again mm. out to sea but it yeah, doesn't no. feel too bad does it because no. it's almost because the headland sticks out over there so you never feel like you're further out than any land even though you've come into the bay and you've probably gone a few miles yeah. offshore well, next time if I know I'm going to spend so much time in the water, I'm going to bring a, a, bring a fishing rod. A fishing rod. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was good that we were doing it on prone boards. Um, I would have preferred a little bit bigger, but I mean, it, it just felt good. There was yeah. no, no issue. Well, you, it was definitely Flora's Lava on the prone board. Because mm. there were some good, nice, steep sections out there, which I kind of only half ass turned on because I didn't want to overcook it. Yeah. And have to paddle a 26 litre board back in yeah. 15 minutes. Yeah, exactly that. So impressed with the 125. Uh, he's riding it with a long fuse and the shiv to start with with zero, zero shim. Yeah. But like I said, I felt just a little bit, just a little bit too much lift. Yeah. Which, yeah. which, which now I know that that was a good thing. I think that was just the feedback that I was feeling, and yeah. in my head that translated to drag, which probably I should have just sticked with it. And when I came back, the progression step just didn't give me the same amount of lift. So yeah it will be interesting to come back next time and and yeah just just use a bit more shim and just yeah, yeah just appreciate that front foot pressure but it's more efficient to have a faster tail and less shim but i personally rather have the lift there and the front foot pressure there um because i always get my back leg always gets tired more tired mm. so i'd rather almost deal with too much lift yeah push it back down and then when you do go slower through certain sections, at least you know it's always gonna, you're not gonna have to keep digging it out. Yeah. Cause I just hate digging, having to dig the foil up all the time. Yeah. And that's what you found out when you used a faster, less shim tail. But maybe when you're downwind more, you get used to that kind of feeling. I Move think, yeah, exactly. Cause in Cornwall, we used to being on the wave. Yeah. And we, you know that when you are on the wave, you got that constant power. Yeah. But as here, as soon as that lump disappeared, literally it was just, just the chop. Yeah. And then, yeah, you you really needed something that keep you afloat. I just, some of those chops 
were as high, they were touching the bottom of the board. Yeah, that was. So you had to be it, really the, the 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 height management. Yeah, was pretty hectic in places yeah. because it felt like there was coming at you from loads of directions. Yeah. So all of a sudden you'd the, you'd feel the board touch down. Yeah. You're like, where did that come from? Yeah. And you had to scoop up, but then there was like moments of just bliss where you're just on just like what felt like a clean swell line yeah. out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And it's yeah. just running, cause it, was, it felt like half downwind run, half surfing that about. I yeah. think, but Rick said that was like as good as it gets here. Mm, nice. So, um. No, he did really well, didn't he? Yeah. Well, he, I think yeah, he, he, made, he made, he said he got one of his best runs today. Oh, have you? Yeah. yeah. So. I think he, he says sent it all the way, so yeah. He got up on the first run, he got up before me on his, on his um kind of mid lengthy style board. He mm. popped up within, we paddled out, he popped up within, I don't know, like 10 seconds of hitting the water. And I was like, oh, Rick's gone. He's left me. He's gone. And then I took about maybe five minutes to find the lump on my oh. little chrome board, my little 4-2 to get going. But then once I was up and going, my foil was a lot faster than him. Mm. So I caught him up and I thought, here's, here's like that, the dream romantic moment. We can both foil side by side. And right when I kind of caught him up, he stacked it and fell. Oh, and I was no. like, that was it. And that's when I still had the GoPro out. <laughs> so me and Rick almost had the moment, but he, um, yeah, he oh, stacked yeah. it. He said he saw me catching him up and he thought he's going to really try a, and like stay next to me so we can like ride side by side. And I think I like the excitement of it maybe got the better of him and he just it's managed the, to it's stack the, it. the GoPro, isn't it? Yeah, he got. He felt he, star, star yeah, struck. He felt he felt the camera coming. And Chris he, did the same to me when we were winging, and as soon as I saw him smiling and the GoPro shining, boom, boom, yeah, gone, yeah. <laughs> right when you think oh, I might get a good shot, yeah, you you you're looking up in the in the air, wondering what just happens. Well, anyway, thanks for Rick, all the foil, and also Hugh for finding this spot because yeah, it's it's such a great. I mean. Yeah, nevertheless, it took us three and a half hours to drive here from the yeah. heart of Cornwall, but yeah, it definitely worth the trip. So yeah, definitely worth the drive. Next time back again. Cheers, boys. Whoop. Ooh, Unifoil. <laughs> Batteries, 1%.